I wanted to have a word with you today about the difference between being 26 and 66. Well, 26 was a long time ago, and 66 is right now. But I'm here to report what I feel is basically good news. I am the same guy that I was at 26, except, as they always say, smarter, more self-aware, more selfless, and certain of who I am. Now, obviously, my body has changed. But that elemental being who they have called Jeffrey in September of 1953 is the same. Uh, the externals of my uh, existence in this world over these decades means that I'm more sophisticated and educated, uh, uh, accomplished, uh, uh, have gone through all the things that people go through in life, but I am still the same, and you are still the same. So there is something immutable in human beings, something that doesn't change. Uh, I remember seeing my mother's body in a coffin, and it looked like a puppet to me, or a mannequin, or some kind of a not very attractive doll. I could see that something had, had left, Something was gone. Something that was there, that was her, that animated that puppet-like body had disappeared, had traveled, perhaps destroyed. I don't know. I don't think so. You know what they say, that matter, uh, even matter, uh, what to speak of spirit, can't be destroyed. It just changes. Uh, what I, it is I'm trying to say is that you should not worry about the fact that you're old and close to changing again. Changing again, meaning, as Socrates said, there's only two things that can happen when you die, folks. Either you continue to exist or you don't. Both of them are fine with me and should be with you. Now, the act of dying they can kind of control that medically, and we don't know. That's kind of the, you know, that's up in the air. That might not be so, you know, so fun. But the end result is fine for all of us. But we're not there yet, and we're not going to worry about that. And as an old yogi once told me, don't even think about stuff like that, because you sort of summon it to you, you know, draw it near. What I'm here to talk about is how you're the same guy at 26, or I'm the same guy at 26 as I am at 66, except a little smarter and cooler, hopefully. Uh, operating a software system with a degree of narcissism, which is uh, workable for me and others around me. But all of that is not who I am, and it's not who you are. So when people ask me, I say, well, I've just, it's just me at 26, but I'm wearing old clothes. That's all, just wearing old clothes. So I know that's a worry to people, that they're getting older, or fuck that, older. Uh, you know, I love it when people say they're middle-aged. If I was middle-aged, I'd have to live to be a uh, hundred and, uh, what's six and six is whatever it is, 66 times two. You know, so I'm not middle-aged, I'm fucking old, all right? And I will die, or I will change. I will leave this body. But, as I know, there is some immutable thing, I like to say that word, <laughs> I don't get a chance very often, um, within me that does not change. I think there's a very good chance that, that when I you know, do the big change, the big body change, that that also might not be the end of my existence and that I will continue on in some form. Uh, I'm not talking about some juvenile, sophomoric, heaven and hell scenario, but some sort of energy uh, uh, existence. Uh, the, 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 the details I don't pretend to know. 
what I do know and all I have to say, and we will conclude this blog on this note, is that there's no such thing as an old Jeffrey and a young Jeffrey. There's just Jeffrey wearing old clothes. I'll leave you with that thought.